Hello and welcome to day three of my week of decluttering series. Day one, we decluttered foundations, concealers, primers, setting sprays, and powders. Day two, we decluttered bronzers, blushes, highlighters, face palettes, and today we are decluttering eyeliners, mascaras, eyelashes, single shadows, and my ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I will link day one and day two down below in case you missed them. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the future decluttering videos. A little disclaimer that I've included in the other ones just in case you did not watch those ones. Anything that I declutter will either be thrown away if it's no good and or expired. It will be given to friends or family if it's something I received for free or something that I think that they would enjoy. It will be sold on Poshmark if it's in good condition and something that I purchased myself. My Poshmark will be listed down below for your convenience or it will be donated. So those are four things that will happen to any of these products that I end up getting rid of. So let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna start with mascaras. All right, so here we have my meager mascara collection. I only have five mascaras here and I'm probably gonna end up keeping most of these. So this Milk Makeup Kush Deluxe Size Mascara is the one I'm currently using and I actually really love this. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to that. This Hourglass Caution Mascara is obviously brand new. It is a deluxe size sample, so I'm gonna use this. I'm really excited to try this because I've heard good things about it and obviously haven't tried it yet. So I'm gonna definitely hold on to that. This Tarte Mascara, the Lights Camera Lashes, I have not used yet. I'm excited to use this when I use up those two deluxe size samples. And then these last two mascaras are waterproof mascaras. Mascaras. This first one is by Beauty Big Bang. It's the Voluminous Mascara. At least I'm pretty sure this is waterproof. It doesn't say on the packaging, but I thought I remember when they sent it to me that it was supposed to be waterproof. I didn't really love this, and it's getting kind of old, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I used this last summer, and by the time I'll use it next, which will be this summer, it's it'll be well over three months since it was opened, so it's probably already gone bad and... I'll have to get a new waterproof mascara to use this summer. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this because I'm sure it's already expired. You're only supposed to use open mascaras three months after you've opened them. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter that one. We are holding on to three mascaras and decluttering two of them. So next let's move on to eyebrow products. I really don't have that many of them. In fact, it looks like I just have these four products. So these three products I use every single, well, almost every single day. I use these two every single day single day and this one when I want to make sure that my brows stay in place for a long time. This one right here I kept saying that I was going to use I was going to try it more. I've used it a couple times but I just haven't in so long and I didn't really love it the first couple times that I tried it so I'm going to go ahead and just finally get rid of it. I've been talking about using it for so so long and just never did so I think it's time to finally pass it along. So I'm getting rid of one keeping it three which is you know just the perfect amount that I need. Let's Let's move on to primers and I have one glitter glue. I'm gonna hold on to all of these. This one, this Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer, I am almost out of. And then I recently got this one for Christmas. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's just a deluxe size sample. And then this Too Faced glitter glue is a glitter glue. It's the only glitter glue that I have. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep all three of those. Next, let's move on to eyeliners. We're actually gonna start with liquid liners and then go into pencil liners. So these are all of the liquid liners that I own. Let's pull out two that I know I want to declutter. I recently bought this Physician's Formula eyeliner and I freaking hated it. Look at that, that's like barely anything at all. And this is, maybe I just read this wrong. <gasps> oh, this is not what I thought it was. So this is the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting eyeliner and serum in the shade black. So I just thought this was a regular eyeliner. Didn't realize it was a serum also. And I mean, first of all though, this doesn't look black at all. This looks brown, like a very light sheer brown, not black at all. I was very disappointed because I thought it was gonna be black and then it turns out it wasn't. So I don't want this. I won't use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I'm also going to declutter this Sorme Precision Duo Liquid Liner and Corrector. On one end it has an eyeliner, a felt tip pin, and then on the other end it has this, it looks black, but it's like a clear, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just a clear liquid that is meant to correct eyeliner mistakes. I didn't 
find this that great. It worked okay. It was a good concept, but I haven't reached for it since I reviewed it. And this was sent to me from Sorme. And so I wouldn't repurchase it. I wouldn't purchase it. Didn't purchase it the first time, but I wouldn't purchase it on my own. It didn't work as well as I was hoping it should have. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I do have a bunch of Kat Von D liquid liners here. So I have two deluxe size samples and then two full size products. I have one of the ink liner in black. I have one of the tattoo liner in brown, a tattoo liner in black, and a dagger <laughs> in black. The dagger is very interesting. It's got this weird tip on it, as you can see. This isn't that great, but the color is pretty good. All of these are still good, and unfortunately, the tattoo liner is my favorite eyeliner currently. I was looking for the NYX Epic Ink to repurchase and try again, but I can't find it anywhere in stores. I think I can only get it online, so I'm gonna have to order that again because I did like that. I just haven't been able to get my hands on it. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to these because they are still good and I do enjoy using them. All right. And these last two products, both of these are Stila liquid eyeliners. I enjoy this formula a lot. I don't love the applicator as much as I've loved the Kat Von D applicator. I just don't find that I have enough control, but I do enjoy the pigment and the formula of this product. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to these also. So I am keeping six liquid liners and getting rid of these two. I feel okay about this because a couple of these I have used quite a bit and are probably on their last legs and then some of them I haven't dipped into at all. So I feel pretty good about keeping these ones and then just getting rid of these two. All right, moving on to pencil eyeliners. Okay, so let me be honest with myself and with you. I very rarely wear pencil liner. So I have an excess amount. It's not to say I don't want to, I just, it's for some reason, I have a very hard time wearing it. So let's get rid of some of these. The first thing I know I'm gonna get rid of is this NYX Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil. I like never use this, so that can go. Okay, so I have a blue, a teal, and a green. Let me swatch them to see if they're even still good. That looks really pretty, okay. And we have the color pop okay and finally the marcel Ooh, that's really pretty okay so i think i'm gonna get rid of the color pop one that's this middle green color right here it's the shade teaspoon i bought it off of the recommendation i think of kathleen lights but i just don't see myself ever wearing it so we can get rid of that these two though i do really love those colors so i'm gonna hold on to these two i'm also going to hold on to this color pop liner this is their white one it's in the shade exit so it's just a white eyeliner i think those are important to have because they can be very useful this is a Clinique eyeliner. It's like a dark blue color. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one too. It's still pretty new. My grandma bought it for me. This one's pretty fresh. Not doing too great yet. <laughs> Let's pull out. Okay, so I have this gray one and this gray one. We have Cynthia Rowley. Oh my gosh. It wasn't even focused and you could still see that. That's okay. So there's a good chance we're gonna hold on to that one. And this one is by Buxom. This is definitely much darker. Ooh. I'm gonna set the Buxom one aside for a moment. Definitely gonna hold on to the Cynthia Rowley one though, because that is gorgeous. Okay, I've held on to this one right here. This is the Kajal Vasante Extreme Rose Gold Eyeliner. There it is, right there. It's really pretty. I just don't think I'll ever wear this one. So let's get rid of that one. This is one of the Urban Decay liners. It's not super soft. I'll go ahead and get rid of that one. We have the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Waterproof liner. It doesn't say what shade this is, but it just looks like the black shade. Ooh, that is very black. Let's go ahead and hold on to that one. That might be my only black. Oh, wait, no, this is black too. Well, that's definitely more of a gray. It's not quite as black as this one right here. I don't think I need to hold on to this one if I have this super black one right here. Moving on to this ColourPop. This is a gold. This is in the shade Dirty, Dirty Trap, Dirty Money, Dirty, Dirty Talk. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, oh how pretty. Okay, we're gonna keep this one. Let's move on to the next ColourPop one, which is in the shade Overboard. This is like a bronze. Mmm, that's pretty. Okay, I don't have a bronze, so let's hold on to that one. There's this little Sephora. Whoa, hello. This is a little Sephora eyeliner. I don't know what shade this is in, but I think it's like a purpley color. 
Ooh, it's pretty dry. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and toss that one. Next, we have a Starlux eyeliner. This is in the shade Ultra Olive. Ooh, that's a really cool color. Let me hold that one off to the side too. And then this one is Workout. This is a dark green ColourPop creme gel liner. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one also. I just feel like if it's that dark, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna use black. If I want a colorful eyeliner, I'm gonna go for something more colorful than that. We can get rid of that one. So these are our last two. Let me swatch this one again. So that's the olive one right here. Let's swatch the buxom one again. Ooh, dang, okay. I do really like that buxom liner. It's such a cool, like, smoky gray color. Do I want to keep both of these or just the buxom one? And the olive green one is really cool. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the olive green one for now. If I don't use it between now and my next declutter, then I will obviously declutter it. But that's a really cool color and I know I've used it as an eyeliner before and I really liked it. So let's go ahead and hold on to it for now. So this is everything I'm decluttering over here. We're decluttering seven things and we're holding on to 10. Ooh, that's a bit. That's okay though. I'm not too mad about it. Every time I do an eyeliner declutter, I always get rid of a lot of these. So I feel like 10 is okay. I don't really have many repeat colors. They're all decently unique from one another. So I feel I feel okay with that. So let's go ahead and move on. All right, let's move on to eyelashes. Okay, so I have uh, actually quite a few lashes and I like never wear them. So let's let's just let's take a look. So the first thing I'm getting rid of is this Lena Lashes. It is the Siberian Mink Diva. Oh my gosh, look at these. Just way too much in here. I will never wear these. I don't think I've ever worn these, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, but I'm not going to keep them. They're way too big for my eyes. Also, these little Kiss Lashes, I just don't really like them, so I'm not going to wear them, so I'm going to get rid of them, and I've never worn them, so maybe somebody else can use them. Also, these little Ardell Lashes, these are just individual lashes. I don't like these. I don't like using them. I don't like applying them so they can go. These Sephora Collection lashes. I don't really like these very much. They look too uniform. I don't think they would look very natural on the eyelashes. So I'm going to get rid of these. These ones right here, I don't think would look very good on me. They look a little, a little, I mean, just look at them. They look a little too false. I don't remember buying these, but I just don't think that I would like these or use these. So let me pass them off to somebody who I think would enjoy them. These ones right here, I have worn before. As you can see, they're falling all over the place. I do really like these, so I am gonna hold on to these. These ones back here, I think I've also worn these before. I remember getting them at Sephora. I think this is the same style that I wore for my wedding, and I really like how natural they look. So I'm going to hold on to these. These ones by Sephora I'm also going to hold on to. I think they have a really nice natural flare to them. Which ones are they? Are they just called the flare? Flare false lashes? So I'm going to hold on to these ones too. And then these ones, I think I'm going to hold on to these too. I got these when Sonia Kashuk was having a sale on like everything. I think they look natural. They have a good flare to them. So I'm going to keep these ones too. I am holding on to these four and getting rid of two, four, five. Getting rid of five. So I'm getting rid of over half. And I feel very good about that. I also have these two lash glues. I'm going to keep the House of Lashes one and I'm going to get rid of the Vegas Nail one. I just remember that I like the House of Lashes lashes one way more and this one's already starting to look really expired no good so I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep this one all right so let's move on to eyeshadows we're first gonna start with just kind of miscellaneous eye products first I do have these two gel cream pots from ColourPop one is in the shade get paid one is in the shade overboard I never use these I've had these for well over a year they're probably dried out and I just I literally just never use them and so I'm not gonna hold on to them anymore maybe I'll try and pass them along to a friend see if anybody would use them when I open them they look okay but again I just I will never use these I don't ever use these so I'm not gonna hold on to them all right next we have some glitter shadows I have two glitters from Mac I have melon and blue brown I am gonna hold on to both of these I'm actually gonna hold on to everything in here I'm just showing you so you know I have this Laura Mercier crayon stick it is in the shade rose gold it's a beautiful color for all over the lid it works really well for just an all over the lid natural look so we're gonna keep that one I have a moon dust or 
Urban Decay Liquid Eyeshadow. I freaking love this. This is in the shade Solstice. Really beautiful all over the eye. I have a few Stila products. So I have this one full size Stila Liquid eyeshadow in the shade Smoldering Satin. And then for Christmas, I got this little trio. It comes with three deluxe size of the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. It comes with Kitten Cloud and Twig. So obviously gonna keep all of these. The last thing that I have is a Supernova Shadow by Kathleen Lights in ColourPop. I don't know why I'm swatching this one, but that is what it looks like right there. Actually, you know what? I thought I was gonna keep this, but now that I'm looking at it, now that I swatched it, I'm glad that I did. I feel like I would always prefer to use something else. I just don't really love this formula. It's got these weird chunky glitters in it, so I'm actually gonna pass this along. All right, so I'm keeping all of this passing along one. All right, let's move on to single shadows. So let's start with non-ColourPop single shadows first, and then we'll move into ColourPop single shadows. I have a lot here. I really like single shadows, so I don't know if I'll get rid of any, if I do, how many. Oh, I just realized there's some ColourPop ones over here. Let me take those out. Here we go. So actually, most of those things that I just pulled out, I'm going to be keeping this Tarte eyeshadow is beautiful. This is in the shade Poker Face. This is probably one of my most favorite single shadows ever. Definitely keeping that. Definitely keeping Stila's Kitten. It's an old favorite. This shade right here is a L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow in the shade Amber Rush. This is in my year-long project pan, so we're gonna be keeping that. This little elf shadow I just got for Christmas. This is in Sore. I'm gonna keep this because I just got it for my friend for Christmas. This little hourglass shadow. This is one of their scattered light eyeshadows. This is in the shade Reflect, absolutely keeping this. this. is a gorgeous shadow. Also along with this Tarte eyeshadow, this is so pretty. This is in the shade Frosé. It's this super cool, just even just looking at it right there. So beautiful, yes, 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 yes. So definitely keeping those. Oh, also keeping this. This was a gift a couple years ago from a friend. It's a Lancome eyeshadow. It's so pretty, it's in the shade. All that glistens, it's a really, really pretty shade. Let me give it a just quick swatch. There it is right here. Doesn't look that impressive in the camera, but it's really pretty in person. Let me take the rest of these things out. Oh boy, okay. First thing that I know I'm going to be keeping is this Bare Minerals shadow. Just look at it, look at that. Look at how cool of a pigment that is. So this is a loose shadow, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. I am gonna get rid of this little Coastal Scents eyeshadow duo. It's just this little tiny duo that I got forever ago, like in an Ipsy or a Boxy Charm or something, and I'll never use this, so this can go. Oh, you know what? I'm also gonna get rid of this little NARS eyeshadow. This is in the shade Europa, I think is how you say that. It's just, I just swatched it on my wrist. It's just not very impressive. It looked so much cooler in the pan. It's just not. I really just don't like using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. This one I am gonna keep. This is a MAC eyeshadow in the shade Stolen Moment. It was a special edition shadow many, many years ago before I went cruelty free. It's a beautiful shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Let me swatch this next shadow. Ooh, that looks really cool. Probably gonna keep this. Ooh, yeah, okay. Definitely gonna keep this one. This is NYX in the shade Fireball. I feel like I had trouble with this when I first got it. Ooh, oh, wait a minute. That actually looks really pretty. Okay, yep, okay. Gonna keep that Cap on D one. All right, gonna go ahead and pass along this MAC shadow. This is in the shade Antiqued. Here it is right here. I just feel like there are other bronze shades that I have in single form, like in a pan, that I would use over this every time. So we're gonna go ahead, oop, nope, over here. This little Makeup Forever single shadow. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. This is another sample that I got in some kind of subscription box. I mean, it's pretty, but I have other shades like this that are way better. So we're gonna get rid of that. Let's look at this purple shade. That's pretty. Let me see if I have another purple shadow like that, because if I do, then I'll get rid of this one. But if I don't, I definitely want to hold on to that. All right, so I definitely found a handful of shades that are probably comparable to that one. Even some of these I would prefer over that one. So let's go ahead and declutter this purple shadow. What about this? Ooh, those are pretty. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this NARS duo. This is in the shade Isold. Isold, gosh, I never can remember how to say that. It's based off of a place, but nope, can't remember. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Let's swatch this Urban Decay shadow. This is in the shade Half Baked. Whoa, ooh, that's a beautiful gold. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that. Ooh, actually, so this is a very gold shadow. High Class Pressed Pigment by Morphe. Let's, whoa, oh dang. 
wow okay so there's that and then we have a bronze by morphe this one's in the shade rodeo drive Ooh. okay i like rodeo drive more than i like high class so we'll keep rodeo drive get rid of high class and then we have this is coffee and drama Ooh, that's a really cool shade okay and then we also have the afterglow Hmm, those almost look very similar, but also not. I'm looking at these two right here. This one's Coffee and Drama. This one's Afterglow. I feel like I really like both of those, so we're gonna keep both of those. Getting down to the final the final five. Let's swatch, mm, you know, this one, let me swatch it. This just feels really dark for this kind of shadow. Yeah, all right, we're gonna get rid of this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Bottomless Java. It's definitely a very, very dark shade, but I would just use like a matte pressed shadow not one of these and then this is a single shadow from sephora this is in the shade safari let's see oh okay i kind of like this matte color i need to depot this and put it into a z palette i do like this i'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Oh, i need to change my battery it's dying all right battery changed so we have these last three shadows let me go to the green one first we'll probably do something similar like we did with this with the purple one so i'm going to swatch this and then go through my collection and see if we have a comparable shade oh wow though all right let's see if we have it that's a beautiful shade though i don't know if we'll find something the same all right so we were not successful i didn't find anything close to this shade so we are going to go ahead and keep this milani shade i think that's beautiful that is such a pretty dark green last two let's swatch this shadow oh wow okay well i keep waiting for this shadow to go bad because it's been in my collection for so long but just I think that still looks gorgeous so let's go ahead and keep her I should probably throw this into a project to pan because it is so old but I love it so much all right in our very last shadow this little bare minerals in the shade Queen Tiffany let's see Ooh, wow okay yep definitely gonna keep that all right so so these are all the ones we're keeping and these are the ones we're getting rid of. Not too many, but really I don't think that I have too many single shadows. We're getting rid of seven of them and keeping, I mean, obviously a lot more. We're keeping 20, getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But really, I don't think that's that bad. I don't think that's an excessive amount of single shadows. I even got rid of more than I thought I was going to. So I don't feel too bad about this. I feel pretty good about what I'm getting rid of and how much i'm getting rid of i should probably go take care of of this <laughs> oh i forgot to include these shadows anywhere at all these are the kaja stacks so there are three little shadows in each of these stacks i'm keeping these these are staying definitely in my collection i think these are gorgeous i think they work super well and i love them so much so these are staying and these would like up my count to 22 or something like that all right and to wrap this video up we have ColourPop super shock shadows all right so we have a lot here unfortunately a lot of these are very old and bad bad very bad have gone bad and the reason for that is some of them i just don't use i've never used they just didn't work very well for me as super shock shadows either their color did or the formula a little bit but there's a lot in here that i really love so i'm hoping to get rid of a fair few ones that have dried out are no longer good and just keep the ones that i like using using and are still good so let's start with some of the ones that i know i'm going to keep i mean obviously all these ones in boxes right here are brand new two of them these two right here were gifts and then this one i bought it's like the first color pop super shock shadow that i've purchased in i haven't purchased super shock shadows in so long because oh no that's a lie i did purchase this one right here as part of the disney collection it's gorgeous this is an amazing shade so this is love all four of these over here are staying so this shade right here here i'm gonna be swatching i think all of the rest of them just to make sure so this is the shade koosh feels good yes okay so this one is still good and i really like this shade so we're gonna keep that this is the shade koosh next one this one right here is the shade muse i'm pretty sure this one is still good it's actually one of the first ones that i ever hit pan on yeah this still feels really good oh yes okay so this one's still good and i love this shade this one right here is the shade sunset boulevard 
Hmm, I mean that one's pretty, but it, it already feels like it's drying out and there are other, I mean we just saw a few of my single shadows that are just better than that. So let's go ahead and declutter that one. Next, this shade right here is the shade Partridge. Uh, I mean that's pretty. It's a blue-brown shade and I have other blue-brown shades that are just more impressive than this one is. This one's just a little too dark. There's not enough blue in it for me. So so I'm going to go ahead and pass that one along. And it already feels pretty dry. I mean, the swatch of it is okay, but it feels super dry already. So we're going to get rid of that one. This next one is the shade Midnight. Oh, I mean, it looks okay. Ooh, wow. Okay. Holy crap. That is actually a very pretty shade. We're going to go ahead and hold on to that one. Wow, that would be so pretty as a smoky look. I don't really do a lot of smoky looks, but that makes me want to do a smoky look. Let's move on to this one right here. This is Weenie. Ooh, this is a kind of an old shadow. Ooh, but it feels good still. Okay, yeah, that one's still good. This is another really good one. So Weenie and Muse are very similar. Muse is a little more pinkier, a little darker. Both of them are favorites of mine, though. So this one right here, this is Catnap. I have a feeling I don't really like this shadow. Mm, yeah, it's just basically glitter. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. This one's still good. I just don't really like it. So we're gonna pass that one along. Next, we have the shade Sugar. This one I'm pretty sure is dried out. Oh, wow. Well, the swatch is good. Oh, whoa. What the heck? Okay, how does it swatch good, but it feels dry? How How is how are you doing that? Because that is a gorgeous shade. What the the heck? Well, I mean, I feel like I don't want to get rid of it because I love the way that looks. So, I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it. Next, we have Static. That's a really pretty shade, but this just isn't a shade I would use. I primarily use Super Shock Shadows for all over the lid, and that's not a shade that I would put all over the lid. This is the kind of color I would blend into the crease, and you can't really blend these very well into the crease in my experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Next, we have the shade, oh, Sundance. Okay, this one actually is a little bit new to me too. This is a really pretty shade. Yeah, okay, that's a gorgeous shade. I love this. So Sundance is staying. Next, we have Cheeky. Pretty sure this one is dry. Ooh, it just like feels uncomfortable. Yeah, this one's no good. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Next we have Copilot. I'm pretty sure Copilot is still good. Yeah, she's definitely on her way out, so I need to get some good use out of her this year, but she still is packing a bit of pigment. So let's go ahead and keep her around. Next we have, what is this? Nillionaire. This is one of ColourPop's very popular shadows. Oh, she still feels good. Whoa, look at that. Let's swatch her right here. Holy cannoli. Dang, that is... I just feel like I'm never gonna wear that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Now this has me looking at Midnight and thinking I'm never gonna wear that either. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Midnight also. I feel like there's other shadows in my collection that are dark like that that I can use. I don't need to hold on to this one too. Moving on, let's pull this one. This is another one that I've hit pan on. This is the shade La La. Yeah, that one's still good. Cool, so we're gonna hold on to Lala. Next, we have the shade Donna. Ooh, this feels dry. Yep, oh, that's unfortunate. All right, we're gonna get rid of Donna. Ooh, we have another one that I have hit pan on. This is Waddles. I'm pretty sure this one's no good anymore. Yeah, it's just very lackluster. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Next, we have the shade DGAF. This one I used to love a lot, but I think it might be dried out. Mmm. I mean, it looks like it still has a pigment there, but it feels really dry. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. I used to really like this once upon a time, but I'm just, I just, nah, no. All right, next, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. This one is the shade Luckfully. Ooh, yeah, ooh, I just, the moment I touched that, I could tell, absolutely not. This next one is Eight Track. I think this one's pretty old. Ooh, it feels okay though, so maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, this one feels a little dry and it looks like something I already have in other palettes or single shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Next we have Trois. Yeah, there's there's just there's just like nothing there anymore. This is so dried out. Next we have stereo. Ooh. Uh, hmm. No. Nope. Nope. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that one. Now we have chipper. Ooh, yeah, ooh. 
No, that one feels super dry. It kind of reminds me of this one, but just doesn't give me the same punch. All right, next we have Porter. Ooh, I think this one's pretty old. Yeah, this is another one that it looks okay, but I have other shades that are just better. I don't want to deal with that one. Next, we have Birthday Cake. This is a special edition. You can tell by the packaging. That one feels soft still. That one's pretty. It's right here. I like this one. Let's go ahead and keep this one around. Next, we have a broken one, unfortunately. This is the shade White Rabbit. I think this one's still good, though. It just has a piece that just kind of always knocks out of the way. Let's swatch it. Mm, yeah, this one's still really pretty. Let's go ahead and hold on to this one for a while. And then finally, this is the shade Beverly. I'm pretty sure, yeah, oh, you can, I don't even need to swatch this. You can tell that it's dry because it's cracking away from the edge over here. All right, so I think that's all of my Super Shock shadows. So I think we're getting rid of more than we're keeping. So we're getting rid of five, 10, 15, 16, 17. So we're getting rid of 17 of them and keeping five, 10, 13. Wow. You know, I thought I was going to be getting rid of a lot of these, so I'm not totally surprised. There's a lot of shades in here that I just don't like using as super shock shadows. Some of them that have gone dry, some of them that I just don't like. I'm really excited about the ones that I'm keeping in my collection. All of these ones I really love using. I mean, I haven't used these three, but all of these ones I really love using on my eyes and work really well for me. I am panning super shock shadows this year, so I'll be going through a lot of these and trying to hit pan on them. They're part of my pan that palette for this year. So very, very excited about that. All right. And there is the end of my third declutter during my seven days of decluttering series. I hope you enjoyed. I feel like I, I did okay today. I feel pretty good about everything that I'm getting rid of. If you missed the first two parts in this series, don't forget to check them out below. My next ones will be coming very soon. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you know when they are up, we still have my palettes and my lip products and nail polish. And, oh, I have my, my lip products is actually split into two. So I have bullet lipsticks and lip liners and liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. So those are two separate videos. If you liked declutter videos or just liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe for more content from me, don't forget to do so before you go. All the buttons are down below. And I think that's everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.